So what are the super rare cars? So Forza Motorsport 6 is currently doing a thing called the Forza RC. What Forza RC is, it's a thing, it's a competition that's going on right now, where players of all skill levels, whether you're a racing god or me, can go out and win prizes from Forza. So you can win things from Microsoft, you can win brand new Xbox Ones, you can win car passes, you can win in-game cars, which are very cool. Or if you're really good, you can win a Ford Focus RS. Not in the game, but an actual one. Like a really, really big one. Like like one with 350 horsepower. Yeah. So anyways, the link for that's going to be in the description down below if you guys want to sign up. The way this is working is there's an Elite series, which is the one for the car. And there's the Open series, which something's happening later for? I don't, I don't really know how the whole series works, to be honest. But here's what you have to do. Go on the ESL website, register there, sign up for the events, and then head into the game, and you'll see some new Rivals events, I believe. If you go down to Rivals, and there should be... What's it under? Community Monthly? I know it's Monza. Is that it? Yeah! Forza RC S1 Week 1 Rivals Qualifier. The whole series is very, very complicated in the way, it's, in the way it works, but for you and I, all we need to do is just come in here and set good laps. It says the top 100 registered players will move on to this week's Forza Elite Series Cup. And then you can go to that link to register. Anyway, so let's go in and do some laps and then I will show off some very rare cars. I w I, yeah, that's one of the things I sort of wish Forza did was you could, you could select a thing and be like, put me on a fast lap. Because I mean, the top people aren't gonna use that. There's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to gain any sort of advantage from it. And it's just gonna be people like me who use it and it's gonna be the casual people. And I mean, yeah, I mean, that was all clean. That was all clean. This is looking like a much better time. My time right now is a 2.17, which, to be honest, is not brilliant. Come on, this is looking a lot better. I don't know how someone's getting in, like, the two minutes. Your lap would have to be insane. This is a 2.10, probably? Not even. Not even a 2.10. That's a 2.12. God damn, people are fast. Hey, I beat Alan! <laughs> So anyways, uh, if you do that, if you go in, you take the time to set up your ESL profile, and you set up all that, then you can get yourself these. Uh, so yeah, Turn 10 and I have partnered up together, and uh, they wanted me to show these off in a video to create some hype for the Forts Racing Championship, so... What should we do with these? Alright, screw it, let's just jump in this. This is the Ford Escort RS 1600. It was one of the hidden cars for a very, very long time until it became one of the cars that you can win for just setting a time. So all of you guys can get this. Just go set a time and and you, you can have this car. So if the Ford Falcon was a race car, then I will race build the Ford Falcon and I will drift build this because this I can drift. I can tell you that. Oh, look, there's even a little picture of Monza on it. We've agreed that we are drift building this. So, I mean... V8? Is that bad to V8 swap this? Nah, screw it. When in doubt, V8. I must give a massive thank you to Mr. Webster for hooking me up with these. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. As per, as per always. Awesome dude. Power? I mean, we don't really need much, right? Because it's so light. It's 1,800 pounds. I mean, if we do that, though, if we get 600, let's just get 600. Because then if we get 600, then it will be like a stunt-ish car. There we go, 604. Perfect. I want to try something a bit different for this drift car. I saw, if you guys know Scotty, if you guys use the Air 12 website at all, he runs a lot more camber than I do. I usually go 2.5 or negative 2.5 in the front and like two in the back. He said 3.5 and one, I believe. And I was like, I mean, it's different. I'll try it out. See, see how it works. I mean, you should be able to drift a car once you have your upgrades on it completely fine. Tuning is just sort of fine-tuning it to you, basically. So no one's tune can be right or wrong, I think. You know what I want to try? I've never actually tried drifting this track for some reason. I mean, it's one of my favorite tracks, and I've never done it. I love the wheel arches. They're so wide. They look awesome. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Scotty, your camber's a bit much. All my drift tunes are basically the same. And I haven't changed them in about two years or so. And it's like, I mean, for each game, you have to change them a little bit, right? But I mean, once you find what works for you in the game, I just basically stick with that. And changing it up on this thing, probably not the best idea. We can make it happen. Here we go. 
Here we go. On the exit. On the exit. On the exit. We're gonna do it once we've left the corner. There we go. Yeah, much better. There we go. You can sort of see the flicky light white now. I mean, the setup's okay. I'd probably prefer my own setup, but it's nice to change it. I will say that. It makes it... Definitely makes it more challenging to, to try and drift. Not bad, Scotty. I, I approve of your setup. It, would de it can definitely... De ah! I was trying to compliment it, then it killed me. Like, there's gonna be so many people who watch this video as the first video they ever watch from me. And they're just gonna get the impression that I'm utter garbage at this game. Which I am. But, I mean, I'm trying something new in a car that I've never driven before. And it's a stunt car, so it does... It's meant to be a little crazy. And I'm driving interior now, which is definitely not helping my case. But, if you are new, hello, welcome to the internet. Uh, I am Nick. Okay, going back to what I know and what works for me. Actually, let's go, let's go down to there. That will work. I don't like my car super sliding. I love those wheel arches. They just look awesome. I really wanted a car that's like, I don't know. I want a car. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Now you can see I'm on my tune. There we go. I mean, it's a stunt car. Why have we only done one stunt? Okay, stun! Sort of went, broke track limits. Okay. It's uh, gone badly. That, look at that angle. It holds, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. Man, okay. Okay, please don't roll. I keep trying to push it really hard now because I'm like, it's a stunt car, it's on my tune. I can do it. Nah. It's uh, I mean, if you tune it correctly, as a drift car, because it's so light, you can just go crazy with it. Okay, stop drifting for like two seconds so I can try to get a big entry. I mean, it's so light, right? So you really don't need much power to actually drift the thing. It's just like, you can go crazy with it if you want to. If you don't want to, build something normal. <gasps> okay, good, 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 good. That worked, that worked brilliantly. Thank you, Ford Escort. Oh. Awesome. Oh, yes. See, when, when I try to do normal things, it works so well. It just, it just does what it's supposed to do, and that's drift like a crazy thing. But, I mean, you can do stunts with it as well. I mean, if you're good. Not me, but if you are good. No, poor line. I'm not gonna go it. Not gonna go it? Do it. 360, though. I'm in the wrong gear. Hey, but it worked. Sorta. Of. Yeah, that was not bad. But yeah, conclusion on the little Ford Escort. It is an amazing little car. Definitely worth the time to go in and set a time on the uh, Forza Racing Championship for sure. And you're gonna have one hell of a rare car. Like, like I said, only the people who compete and actually set a time in the Rivals thing will actually get one of these. So I mean, do it. It takes two seconds. It doesn't even have to be a fast lap. Regardless of your skill, you can get this. It's just, it's just cool. 720 on the big downhill corner here. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. 720. Two turns. Spin one. All right, we, we'll have to extend the track. All right, that was the worst 720 ever. But there it is, there it is. We slightly cheated, but it's okay. You can cheat on Mazda, you can cheat in drifting too. Hey, cool.